and welcome back to the channel on this video i have my friend keith with us how are you doing keith how's it going mark good and today we're going to be talking about the bike that keith and his wife sierra recently purchased it's the ride one up cafe cruiser step through bike as you see it right there and i want to ask keith some questions about the bike and uh, what are his thoughts on the bike and all that good stuff so first of all keith how it's long up. have you had the bike for uh, we've had it for about two, three weeks now. All right, and so you had to, when you got it, it came partially assembled. You had to do a little bit of assembly, right? And so, uh, the uh, with the unboxing video from uh, from your bike, it's pretty much the same thing. Just had a few more zip ties. It was kind of packaged a little bit different. Like instead of that uh, bubble wrap that yours came in, it had like um, like cardboard things that you kind of had to take off. But other than that, no, it was real easy. Just had to put the wheel on, had to put the display on, the handlebars. Pedals. Pedal, pedals too. Um, real easy though. Probably took 45 minutes to an hour. All right, and I see you've added a few features. I see a, a light up here. Yeah, we got a headlight on there. Uh, the original, or yeah, the, the light that it comes with, it, it's okay, but it's always good to put a brighter light on there. This is about 750 lumen light. And then we got a, we added a rear tail light, which is about 150 lumens, just to get give you a little extra light, and plus it flashes. Okay, and I, I see a creature up here on the bike. What's this? Yeah, oh, that's the air. So, if you notice, it's upside down too, because the one that she got for her her scooter, you know, it's it's uh, right handed. But if you put it on this side, the the screen is in the way, so. I can't, you know, it's not good to put it over there and try to hit the bell from like this. And of course okay. I turn the other way, then the lever is going to be on the opposite side. So it's just okay. an upside. I, and I think with the swept back handlebars, it does as they curve, it gives you a little less space here to, to add things to it, right? Because they're getting off to the, yeah, over here. Okay. So, and the basket here I see now. The basket was, it's really nice. It's putting this one together, kind of, I had to watch a video. If you go to their website, Look up the video for the front baskets. It goes together the exact same way as the back of the rear basket. You just have some poles right here. Just kind of had to put them like put them together and just they got like little screws. Just screw that together and and then it's removable too, which is really nice. So all you do is make sure you don't knock on the bike. Just pushing that little lever right there. And it slides out. And it, it should slide out. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Then yeah, it comes off in a second. Which is really nice. I like that a lot about the bike. But we pretty much we're gonna keep it on there because as we talked about in the other video, the tires are a, a weak point on the bike. So I always keep an air compressor and some tire sealing in there just in case we have a flat. So you're prepared. Yeah. Plus I keep stuff in my backpack, but the basket really makes it nice. Look, it goes back on in a second. Make sure it's on there. A little trick to it so even though this is your wife's bike you have ridden it several times now oh yeah and what do you think of the bike and you've also ridden mine so you have a pretty good feel now for uh the ride one up cafe cruiser what are your uh, thoughts on the bike i love the bike um so you guys have seen me ride the rad rover that's pretty much the bike that i ride now and this thing definitely has more power than the rad rover like the rad rover cuts off about 20 miles an hour this thing just keeps on going um rad rover is a little bit smoother throttle from a takeoff i think this thing you can adjust it but we like the you know a strong takeoff that's really going to help you know when you're on a hill or something you know but um so is there anything that you don't like about the bike like i said probably just the tires if they had like a tire liner on there to prevent some flats, I would feel a little bit more confident. But I mean, you can't say nothing bad about this bike. This is a great bike. I love how clean it looks. The battery's nice and hidden in there. You don't see any wires. I mean, obviously the controller, all that good stuff is all inside the. It's just just a really nice looking bike. And it sitting on the bike just it's a different feel than the Rad Rover too. It, you know, it's a cruiser style, so. You, you can see the handlebars in front of you. You can see the, the front tire. Where the Rad Rover, I'm looking forward. I mean, yeah, the Rad Rover. Like, you don't, you have to look down to see the tire and the suspension. You know, this is all up in front of you. It, it feels like a beach cruiser. Very comfortable. It's very fast. I love the shifters, too, on this thing. You know, you just 
real nice easy click to downshift it and nice easy click to upshift it of course it has hydraulic brakes i love those and like you were saying the cables look at how clean yeah this is it this bike. is it right and yeah. then the one going down to the light here and then down here for brake and yeah. that's it i mean that's really clean looking i mean for what it what is this going for right now a thousand dollars 1095 1095 i mean yeah. that is an excellent deal and you, look you got the built-in rack you know and the, the bass is sixty dollars that's that's a that's a good deal itself because the rad rover I put the rear rack on there. That was like $100 alone. And then if I want to put, uh, get the basket for it, it's like another $70, I think it was $60, $70, depending on what size basket you get. Then they charge you for the liner. If you notice, this all comes with the basket. $60, you get all this. You get these little clips. You get the liner. Yeah, this is a nice little bungee cord strap. Plus, there's a little pocket inside here, too. You can kind of keep some stuff in there. Nice. Yeah, pretty cool. But I really like this. I mean... Hopefully this lasts for a long time. The, the clips are plastic, but if this ever breaks, you know, you just use bungee cords, no big deal. So as far as the ride goes, is it a nice, smooth, comfortable ride uh, yeah. and your positioning with the handlebars, yes. all of that? It's about as comfortable as like I've ever felt on a bike. It's, I mean, I can't, I have to say for all the bikes I've ridden, which is just a couple, but this is by far the most comfortable bike. I mean, it, and I love, I love how it's, it's a bicycle. like. You know nothing bad about like the grizzly or the the lyric those are more like moped style you know motorcycle this is an actual bicycle you can pedal this thing you can put the pedal assist down to zero still get plenty of exercise and then you know, that's one thing my wife loves because it you know on the big hills she struggles a lot and that kind of takes the fun out of riding and she likes to pedal right she wants yeah, she to get wants some to exercise pedal. yeah she wants to get exercise and she loves this bike i mean she got on that your bike you know that first time she's like she was it was sold you know she was she just loved it and she even rode the rad rover first too and apparently she's put her scooter away is that right yeah she likes right now so much that she doesn't ride her scooter now so yeah this well we've had a little problem with the scooter with the battery going bad and you know you get stranded on this thing on that or on that thing but this thing you know if something goes wrong with the motor you still have the bike to pedal you know it's you it's gonna be a little bit you so, to get home if something happens, you know. So is there anything, though, that you don't like? Is there anything that you could say, you know, I wish that it had this or that? Or is it pretty much, um, it's hard, to, part, hard it's, to find something? Yeah, it's it's hard to find anything that's bad with it. Like I said, just the tires. But I do like those these tires because, you know, if you get a replacement or something, it's going to be easier to find these. These are, what, three-inch tires mm -hmm. instead of the four-inch and um, another thing is that will fit on the probably a standard uh, bike rack too. You know, you don't have to go and get a bigger bike rack for your car or something. But uh, no, I, I love that the gears are great on it. I love the shifting. Uh, since it is a fast bike, it could benefit from uh, more gears to get you, you know, because yeah. when you're at, you might do 25, 30 miles an hour, you're pedaling super fast. Yeah, I think I think another, uh, a larger sprocket on there would yeah. be nice to get. So you're not, because if you do get up to, I know what you mean, if you get up, into the high 20s speed wise yeah. you start to ghost pedal right you can't yeah. you can't well, keep up with it i'm guessing because they want to keep it legal you know they don't want to make it go too fast but this thing will just keep on going unlike the rad rover it cuts off about what 22 23 miles an hour this thing just keeps on going yeah it'd be nice to have a uh, a little more uh like a larger uh i'm uh, sure some people could modify it somehow but. yeah i mean so you don't because that's the worst thing, right? If you if you want to pedal the bike, you don't want to ghost pedal, because yeah. that's defeats the purpose. You want to actually be able to pedal it, but still go 30 miles an hour. Exactly. If you want to ride 30 miles an hour. Other than that, I mean, look how small that motor is. You don't even. I mean, you barely can tell this is an electric bike, you know. Yeah. And besides the the fat. And you can see right here. there, although it's on the other side, it is a Bafang motor. It's right in there, Bafang. 750 watts it feels strong too it's got plenty of power uh, also did you see the seat the seat you can adjust on the fly which i think most bikes like that but it's a real comfortable gel seat i love that wife loves that too yeah because she's shorter than you so it's uh you can adjust it just like um one thing she told me the other day because she likes the seat all the way down so when she sits on it this kind of gives her like a little backrest so she really loves that hmm. one thing she was telling me um other than that, um, probably the only thing I would complain about, like as with most e-bikes, the brakes, I think they should start making those like a little bit bigger. I mean, they, they could be better, you know, like the brakes on these are designed for like a regular bicycle, I believe. 
Because so you know, you'd like to see, uh, you'd like to see like 203 millimeter. Yeah, I think maybe. that's just a good thing. A little bit more. Yeah. Thicker. But these, they stop fine. I mean, there's no problem. Yeah, I haven't had an issue with stopping. Um, it's they're good for me. I, I haven't. But I'm, I'm just wondering, you know, the people that are like in downtown Seattle or something where they got a lot of hills, and you know, after a while the brakes might get hot, and they might, they might fade. I don't know. We haven't tested them like that. I try really hard to not use my brakes yeah, more than I have to. to. I try to minimize. So I try to, you get used to riding, you know, and, and how much to brake and not, but sometimes you can't help it. Yeah. Somebody pulls out in front of you, which happens to us all, then you can't help it, but slam on the brakes, you know. Which these brakes are good, for sure. All right, so overall. It's an excellent bike. You I would mean, recommend love, it? Yes, metal, for the price, um, it's amazing. Yeah, right now that, that deal is gonna be hard to beat at 10.95. Okay, one more thing too. The other day we were riding in the rain and we ran over some mud puddles. It does, the fenders probably could be a little bit better. I do know some Rad Rover fenders are really good at keeping the dirt off the bike, but this one, it will get dirty under here. No big deal, you know, just wipe it off real fast, but it, I wish the fenders could be a little bit better. Yeah, over here, this one's a good example of how it gets yeah. dirty right under there. But you can just wipe it off, but uh, I, I suppose, they're trying, but. They're trying to keep that. Maybe, but cruiser look but i think it could benefit from a bigger fender but yeah i agree that a longer fender would probably yeah right here i know the um rad rover they go yeah it, down it further the whole and they cover a lot of the half of the back wheel i believe so i mean because like how did the dirt get up in here so i'm obviously dirt is flying up off the back right here. i think it should go down more right there because that you don't want none of that mud to fly up on you but you know especially people that have to ride in the rain a lot but we didn't notice any dirt or splash on the back of my shirt or anything. No. My jacket. So, so. they're doing their, their thing. Yeah. Uh, it's good enough, but it's probably the very minimum. But, and uh, a brake light? Would you uh Yeah, I would like, like to, to have a... Because the Rad has a brake light. So. A brake light. Or you, you're definitely going to have to put a, a, your own kind of light on there. And I would definitely recommend a brighter headlight. If you are going to ride at nighttime. But now the, the lights are good enough where people see you. But, you know, if you're in a dark bike path at nighttime it's always good to have you know plenty of light all right well keith thank you for bringing your ride yeah. one up cafe cruiser step through edition right there to the channel and i don't know if you talked about like the step through does make a difference i'm trying to get on. yeah especially oh, for yeah. shorter riders or yeah. the other thing is if you put a basket on here then you got to throw your leg up yeah and that's for me it's not easy to do i'm an older generation yeah oh yeah a lot of people are gonna have problems but so this, this definitely makes it yeah that would be uh better to this. yeah i'm okay on this because i don't have a basket exactly, at the moment on there but if i did i would have issues yeah i would have to go this way on the bike because i can't get my leg up that high so for people that are wondering if the step through is worth it yes i definitely recommend you getting the step through well thank you keith for yeah. uh bringing your bike on the channel first time seeing the uh uh, ride one up cafe cruiser step through edition nice very happy with the bike yes so that's going to do it for this video if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel just hit that subscribe button and if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video go ahead and leave that in the comments below and I will leave a link in the description for the bike as well as the accessory basket right there. $60 for the accessory for the basket, $10.95 for the bike, including shipping to 48 lower states. I don't I don't think it's free to, to Alaska or Hawaii, but yeah, so that's gonna do it for this video. And hey, until next time, keep your wheels on the road. Yes, sir.